So three games unbeaten now. You've got to be happy with with how you how things are cracking along. Yeah, of course. You know, I mean, uh, I think there's been some good performances in there as well, and hence hence the results or the turnaround in results. Just got to try and keep it going for as long as we can. And when you looked at these fixtures at the start of the season, you thought this is a tough week, but you've, you're halfway through it and you, you're going well. Yeah, I mean. You'll obviously look at these. I mean, the start of the season was still tough. You know, whenever you play Accrington, it's a tough game, and getting Morecambe away on the first first day of the season is a, is a tough game as well. So we we always knew we had a tough start. Um, this week, obviously, emphasises it emphasises it because of the position in the teams and the stature of the football clubs. So yeah, we knew it was going to be a tough month anyway to to get our teeth into. But um, yeah, we've done okay so far, and hopefully that can continue. Yeah, you've had a real mixed start to the season because you've got your Accrington's are quite a physical side, and then your Derby's who people are people are going to expect are going to be up there at the end of the season. So, how have you sort of dealt with the the variety of things you've had to deal with? Well, I think that's what you have to do. That's what you try and um, assemble a team to do. You know, sometimes if you if you you're all in with your football, then you know a team will be stronger than you, have more physicality than you on a Saturday, and then all of a sudden you get undone in that type of game so I suppose it's all about trying to put the teams together and and making sure that you can combat not only the size and stature of teams but also weather conditions as well you know because um, it won't be long you know we've we've had a, a great run with the weather in this country but it won't be long before it's you know pouring down with rain and it's going to be windy so you've got to deal with them conditions as well. Yeah, how do you do you get your players used to those ever changing conditions, you know, different teams two days apart? How do you get them ready for that? Um well as best you can, you know, same as what you know, most teams will do around the country, you know, you you get very little turnover time, uh, turnaround time in these games. The turnover of games is so quick and you've got to make sure that they've there's enough um energy in them to be able to go again. So, you know, I think I think that Probably, you know, there'll be there's a fair bit of work that you would say you would do in the classroom today, if you if you know what I mean. So there'll be there's always that you know we'll have a meeting in and and discuss a lot of things there though that that we can't perhaps do out on the training ground today. But we'll we'll do more on the training ground tomorrow and and ho hopefully finish off our preparation for Ipswich at the weekend. Yeah, looking at the table, it's it's not going to get any easier. You've got Ipswich Saturday, the early mm. early leaders. Just mm. what are your thoughts going into that game? Well, like you say, they're the early leaders, but um, I'm sure that they, even though they're top of the table, they won't say that they've had any easy games this season. So, yeah, we know we know the challenge that lies ahead. Um, you know, there's not too many changes really to their team from last year. Um, a little bit in the forward areas. Defensively, they're very similar. Maybe a change or two in the wing backs, but you know, I think once you've played against these these teams and and the formations that they can play um, you pretty much know what you're up against and and they'll say the same about us and it was a really good atmosphere Tuesday night at the derby game your mm. fans really came out and we've seen videos of the flags and everything do you think that really gives you a, a boost as well when you've got these tough games of course you know we 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 ne always need the fans behind us you know because we will come up against teams that will that will come to our place like Derby did and like Ipswich will on Saturday and they'll fill that end. That's what they're going to do. But I thought our um, our fans, normally when we play these games, our fans are up for the challenge and I think I think they have been. And um, yeah, hopefully that will continue. Yeah, if those, the fans can keep turning out, you're really going to make it a bit of a fortress at home and, and a place that people don't want to come. Well, we don't want them to, you know, we don't want t teams to want to come anyway. You know, I don't, I don't know. Um, the fortress comes after a few good performances and a few victories so we've got to try and build into that if you know what I mean but but um, yeah I mean I, I thought the the performance the other night I thought it was very honest very hard working very disciplined um, and and really in the end could have won it we probably had the better chances in the game so I know what it, one would have been right at the death but as I said on the night, you know, a sharper Dan Udo will take that chance, but um, but he's getting there. And now just looking, Ryan Bowman, any update on that? I know you said it, you might have one. Yeah, I mean, well, put it this way, he's better than what he was. Um, tomorrow's a, a big day for him, really. We have got another day, but yeah, he's, he's far better than where he was. He's been out on the grass this morning, 
Um, so tomorrow's a big day for him on the back of what he's done so far today and hopefully no setbacks and, and he's fine. Like I said, you know, it was one of them ones that, you know, he couldn't do he couldn't do anything on the day, but is there's been a rapid improvement in him. So I would be I would be disappointed if he wasn't available for selection at the weekend after how today's gone. And and after a, a physical couple of games, are there any new knocks after Tuesday night? Um no. No. Few knocks, but nothing that will keep anybody out of the game. Brilliant, thank you. Pleasure. And then just one from the club. Earlier this week, Marco Morosi was put in the EFL Team of the Week for his performance against, as a, for his performance against Wickham. Just some words on that. Uh, well, we're always pleased when our lads get in to be in Team of the Week, you know. Um, and as I've said, you know, I think there's plenty of things I've said about Marco and. You know, I, for the life of me, I wouldn't want it to have been a goalkeeper. I don't envy goalkeepers. Um, it was one position that I felt as though we definitely needed to fill on a, on a permanent basis when I came into the football club. And it was really hard work getting that sorted over that summer. It was long, it was drawn out um, and complex getting him here. But I'm, I'm really pleased that, that we showed good patience with that and got him in the end. And I was pleased about that at the time and my thoughts haven't changed as regards Marco. I've said all along, you know, Marco's in the top six goalkeepers in this league, without a shadow of a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt. He might be in the top three or four if you want to look at permanent signings rather than um, signings that have come from Premier League clubs potentially on loan or, or the Championship. Thank you, Gaffer. OK.